my name is Rihanna and I came from the Pakistan. I'm a Muslim and I like to peace for all of the world. That's why I'm all of them are here to gather different culture, different countries and different colors. But they still each other love together and uh, I play with and I have a fun together. And nearly three weeks all together work together. For two weeks, a group of international volunteers and BME women from Riverside in Cardiff came together to volunteer and share stories. The main project, the main goal was the possibility to grow these stories. What we didn't know was that it was the beginning of many different and amazing friendship. From the stories we shared, this video show how the words different and amazing are linked together. Just from diversity, you are able to expand your horizons. Just from diversity, you are able to understand. Just understanding, you will be able to build peace around you. Diversity is a positive thing, Asya told us about her experience in an UK hospital. Doctors there didn't judge her culture, they were aware of it, therefore they respected it. They brought her a special scarf to wear during the surgery, accepted that she couldn't shake a man's hand and gave her the possibility of getting scanned by a nurse while the male doctor looked at the screen. Confidentiality is so important here, she said. I'm sure the doctor won't tell people my stories like doctor used to do in my country. I don't need to feel ashamed if I meet them in the street. So Hila experienced the same. Back in her own city and country, Baghdad in Iraq, she couldn't choose a female doctor. She would just receive a rude answer back if she asked, wait for a month then. Here, everybody likes me and respect me. I feel really comfortable with doctor. That's why I send them a card to say thank you, she said. But doctors are not the only ones. Policemen also can show cultural awareness. After an policeman event at the Cardiff Central Library, Taimaya needed to call the police to feel safe. They not only reassured her, but called her back several times, enough to let her think, oh, please stop. To be sure she was feeling safe, they gave her a portable alarm. It has a police sound, so to switch it on and pretend police are coming if you don't feel safe. They even gave her some guidance in order to build her own confidence. Self-confidence is such an important part of the lives of the women I met on the project. Many people try to attack them, to judge them, just because they are different. Rianne said she is stronger now. Once in the past a person said she wasn't British. I heard it from your accent, go back to your own country. You are not Welsh either, why are you bothering me? She answered back. Some people still haven't understand that even above people with the same color, coming from the same country, speaking the same language, you can still find differences. Self-confidence is necessary when you decide to grow food and cook it for the All Women Connect Force Community Center. Sharing food means sharing culture and stories. That's why Rian proudly said, my allotment brings peace. All the religion came together in order to share. Cardiff Council is aware of the importance of sharing food in order to avoid races and to gather people together. So it sponsored a barbecue on a Saturday morning to let people enjoy nature, enjoy food, enjoy life together, because together is always better. I am Italian and people will think this is a real cliché, I am endless thing, talking about food. Yes, I am, but food is maybe one of the most important part of our lives. Especially if you came from India, like Kurti, and since you were a child, your father taught you the meaning of sitting all together around the same table, sharing food and sharing time together. Because as Kurti, whose family include 48 relatives that time after time meet in one place, said, it's all about accepting each other. We have people coming from six, seven different countries in my family. Why are we still afraid to meet other people eyes in the street just because they speak another language or they have another kind of skin though. We are all human beings, our skin can be different, our language as well, but our hopes and our wishes, our definition of peace, I'm pretty sure are the same. 
I've never deeply thought about peace before. I've never really faced a no peaceful place in my country. I've never ever met people that have experienced conflict until this week. This week I've met people that are willing and happy to share those stories with me. And so now I understand that peace is meeting people, peace is sharing, peace is challenging yourself just a bit. Enough to say, hey, how are you doing, to people you meet in the street. If we all do this, it will make a difference and bring more peace. I believe that life is short and you should uh, follow your dream and do it now, not tomorrow and not after. Uh, the first step now, do it now because uh, you think you have uh, the time you have the age you have everything now and don't think about tomorrow do it now